What's up guys? Welcome back to this new video. Uh, I've got something different this time. Uh, I'm gonna talk about books. Um, A few moments later. I'm gonna talk about three books today. Um, uh, these are the three books that um, help me uh, during my, my career uh, to learn and um, to understand a lot more things uh, than before. So let's start with the first book. Is, um, is called Behind the Glass. This is more for people that like to do recording in the studio. I don't wanna say that it's not good for live sound engineer. I mean, it is okay. I would suggest this book to people that work in the studio mainly. Um, it's quite an interesting book. And there is um, a lot of people talking about the way that they mix. I think that there is kind of like 10 sound engineer. I don't remember because I have wrote this book quite a while ago uh but yeah there is a lot yeah yeah i remember yeah right so there is a lot of people in here that they are talking about um they producing stuff how they have created a lot of song uh is alan parson brian wilson and um, there is there is quite a lot of people um stuff about pink floyd uh the beach boy um rita flankley yeah there is um there's a lot of info it's a nice book I think that you should read. Also, if you are a live sound engineer, this can be a good opportunity to have a basic understanding of how um, a producer works in the studio or a sound engineer works in the studio. So yeah, that's, that's a good book. The second book, man, this is the Bible. It, this is an amazing, an amazing book. The title is Sound System, Design and Optimization. Wow, my my accent. I'm really sorry, guys, but that's how we need to deal with it. Um, so there is a different um, technique of uh, how um, tune a PA system, how you use the subs, the different configuration of the subs, um, the design of a um, of sound system um, is mainly concentrated on um, the sound system in general. It's nothing about mixing. So this is I will suggest um, this book to someone that is more on PI. PA system um, as a proper PA main tech um, but if you want to have knowledge uh, basic knowledge I mean I think there's more than basic uh, but I mean yeah you should read this book so you can have an understanding of how a PA uh, works because uh, I think that a lot of sound engineer nowadays they don't know uh, they just go on a console and they just mix it but they don't know the characteristic of a, of a sound system. So I think that that's something that uh, quite a lot of people should have um, read or they should start to read if they can, especially now that we have got a lot of free time. Uh, but as I say, it's really interesting. There's a lot of information about it. The guy that wrote the book, Bob, uh, is an amazing guy. So, so yeah, give it a go. So the last book, uh, not the last important one, that's all for my fellow uh, sound engineer. Uh, that's the, the Ultimate Live Sound Operate Handbook. Um, that's the second edition, there is also the first edition, but I think that this one is the most updated one. Uh, there is also a lot talking about digital desk as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's new, so you can find a lot of new info. So in this book, you can find different chapters talking about different things. It's mainly about mixing stuff. So it's different from the sound system uh, book that I showed you before. Uh, but on this one, you can find, I don't know, connecting the gear, the front of house mixer, um, signal sign processor and effect, uh, how the effect works and all the signal process, um, wireless system from the in ear to the microphone system. And I love the fact that I explain um, the polish shape of the mic. There's a proper chapter to explain it. Uh, because nowadays I still see a lot, especially young sound engineer that uh, they don't know the basic uh, and believe me this is this stuff this graphic that you see here it's one of the important things that every sound engineer should know uh, because everything starts from a mic especially for our job i mean not anything but most of the stuff that we do start from a mic and um and yeah man you should know the polar of your mic and why you need to use a non-midirectional mic, why you need to use a cardioid mic, figure eight, all that kind of stuff. So um, I think that this is a good rate to do it. So guys, these are the three books. As you can see, let me see if I've got... Oh, yeah, this is the three books that uh, you should 
rate if you have got time. And after this, I'm gonna say thank you so much. This video is done <laughs> and um, I really appreciate your uh, love uh, showing me in the cast last couple of weeks. I saw a lot of views. Uh, thank you so much from, from the bottom of my heart. And if you can uh, just like the video, if you enjoyed the video and you subscribe, because I know that quite a lot of you, they watch my stuff, but they are not subscribed. So what are you waiting? Just subscribe. Um, and I'm gonna give you more stuff in the next couple of weeks, more interview coming. I'm gonna do more live streaming about sound. So I'm gonna show you more with my desk, how I mix and all that kind of things. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.